Titanium alloys are metals that contain a mixture of titanium and other chemical elements. Such alloys have very high tensile strength and toughness. They are light in weight, have extraordinary corrosion resistance and the ability to withstand extreme temperatures. However, the high cost of both raw materials and processing limit their use to military applications, aircraft, spacecraft, medical devices, connecting rods on expensive sports cars and some premium sports equipment and consumer electronics. Auto manufacturers Porsche and Ferrari also use titanium alloys in engine components due to its durable properties in these high-stress engine environments. Although commercially pure titanium has acceptable mechanical properties and has been used for orthopedic and dental implants, for most applications titanium is alloyed with small amounts of aluminium and vanadium, typically 6% and 4% respectively, by weight. This mixture has a solid solubility which varies dramatically with temperature, allowing it to undergo precipitation strengthening. This heat treatment process is carried out after the alloy has been worked into its final shape but before it is put to use, allowing much easier fabrication of a high-strength product. Transition temperature the crystal structure of titanium at ambient temperature and pressure is close packed hexagonal I plus or minus phase with ACA ratio of 1.587. At about 890 a degree Celsius, the titanium undergoes an allotropic transformation to a body centered cubic I squared phase which remains stable to the melting temperature. Some alloying elements raise the alpha to beta transition temperature while others lower the transition temperature. Aluminium Gallium, germanium, carbon, oxygen and nitrogen are alpha stabilizers. Molybdenum, vanadium, tantalum, niobium, manganese, iron, chromium, cobalt, nickel, copper and silicon are beta stabilizers. Categories, titanium alloys are generally classified into four main categories, alpha alloys which contain neutral alloying elements and slash or alpha stabilizers only. These are not heat treatable. Near alpha alloys contain small amount of ductile beta phase. Besides alpha phase stabilizers, near alpha alloys are alloyed with 1 to 2 percent of beta phase stabilizers such as molybdenum, silicon or vanadium. Alpha and beta alloys, which are metastable and generally include some combination of both alpha and beta stabilizers, and which can be heat treated. Beta alloys which are metastable and which contain sufficient beta stabilizers to allow them to maintain the beta phase when quenched, and which can also be solution treated and aged to improve strength. Properties Generally, alpha phase titanium is the more ductile phase and beta phase titanium is stronger yet less ductile. Alpha beta phase titanium has a mechanical property which is in between both. Titanium dioxide dissolves in the metal at high temperatures, and its formation is very energetic. These two factors mean that all titanium except the most carefully purified has a significant amount of dissolved oxygen, and so may be considered a TO alloy. Oxide precipitates offer some strength, but are not very responsive to heat treatment and can substantially decrease the alloy's toughness. Many alloys also contain titanium as a minor additive, but since alloys are usually categorized according to which element forms the majority of the material, these are not usually considered to be titanium alloys as such. See the subarticle on titanium applications. Titanium alone is a strong, light metal. It is stronger than common, low-carbon steels, but 45% lighter. It is also twice as strong as weak aluminium alloys but only 60% heavier. Titanium is not easily corroded by seawater, and thus is used in propeller shafts, rigging and other parts of boats that are exposed to seawater. Titanium and its alloys are used in airplanes, missiles and rockets where strength, low weight and resistance to high temperatures are important. Further, since titanium does not react within the human body, it and its alloys are used to create artificial hips, pins for setting bones, and for other biological implants. See Titanium Orthopedic Implants Grades of Titanium Alloys may be supplied in the following conditions, grades 5, 23, 24, 25, 29, 35, or 36 annealed or aged. Grades 9, 18, 28, or 38 cold worked and stress relieved or annealed. 
grades 9, 18, 23, 28, or 29 transformed beta condition, and grades 19, 20, or 21 solution treated or solution treated and aged. Note 1 a Euro H grade material is identical to the corresponding numeric grade except for the higher guaranteed minimum UTS, and may always be certified as meeting the requirements of its corresponding numeric grade. Grades 2 hours, 7 hours, 16 hours, and 26 H are intended primarily for pressure vessel use. The H grades were added in response to a user association request based on its study of over 5200 commercial grade 2. 7, 16, and 26 test reports, where over 99% met the 58 XI minimum UTS. Grade 1 is the most ductile and softest titanium alloy. It is a good solution for cold forming and corrosive environments. ASM ESB265 provides the standards for Grade 1 titanium sheet and plate. Grade 2 unalloyed titanium, standard oxygen. Grade 2 hours unalloyed titanium. Grade 3 unalloyed titanium, medium oxygen. Grades 1 to 4 are unalloyed and considered commercially pure or CP. Generally the tensile and yield strength goes up with grade number for these pure grades. The difference in their physical properties is primarily due to the quantity of interstitial elements. They are used for corrosion resistance applications where cost, ease of fabrication, and welding are important. Grade 5, also known as T6L4V, T6L4V or T6-4, is the most commonly used alloy. It has a chemical composition of 6% aluminium, 4% vanadium, 0.25% iron, 0.2% oxygen, and the remainder titanium. It is significantly stronger than commercially pure titanium while having the same stiffness and thermal properties. Among its many advantages, it is heat treatable. This grade is an excellent combination of strength, corrosion resistance, weld and fabricability. This alpha beta alloy is the workhorse alloy of the titanium industry. The alloy is fully heat treatable in section sizes up to 15 mm and is used up to approximately 400 degrees Celsius. Since it is the most commonly used alloy euro over 70% of all alloy grades melted are a subgrade of T6L4V, its uses span many aerospace airframe and engine component uses and also major non-aerospace applications in the marine, offshore and power generation industries in particular. Applications, blades, discs, rings, airframes, fasteners, components, vessels, cases, hubs, forgings. Biomedical implants. Generally, T6L4V is used in applications up to 400 degrees Celsius. It is a density of roughly 4420 kg per meter 3, Young's modulus of 115 GPA, and tensile strength of 1000 MPa. By comparison, annealed type 316 stainless steel has a density of 8000 kg per meter 3, modulus of 193 GPA and tensile strength of only 570 MPa. And tempered 6061 aluminium alloy has 2700 kg per meter 3, 69 GPA, and 310 MPa, respectively. Grade 6 contains 5% aluminium and 2.5% tin. It is also known as T5L 2.5 SN. This alloy is used in airframes and jet engines due to its good weldability, stability and strength at elevated temperatures. Grade 7 contains 0.12 to 0.25% palladium. This grade is similar to grade 2. The small quantity of palladium added gives it enhanced crevice corrosion resistance at low temperatures and high pH. Grade 7 hours is identical to grade 7 with enhanced corrosion resistance. Grade 9 contains 3.0% aluminium and 2.5% vanadium. This grade is a compromise between the ease of welding and manufacturing of the pure grades and the high strength of grade 5. It is commonly used in aircraft tubing for hydraulics and in athletic equipment. Grade 11 contains 0.12 to 0.25% palladium. This grade has enhanced corrosion resistance. 
grade 12 contains 0.3% molybdenum and 0.8% nickel. Grades 13, 14, and 15 all contain 0.5% nickel and 0.05% ruthenium. Grade 16 contains 0.04-0.08% palladium. This grade has enhanced corrosion resistance. Grade 16 hours contain 0.04-0.08% palladium. Grade 17 contains 0.04-0.08% palladium. This grade has enhanced corrosion resistance. Grade 18 contains 3% aluminium, 2.5% vanadium and 0.04-0.08% palladium. This grade is identical to grade 9 in terms of mechanical characteristics. The added palladium gives it increased corrosion resistance. Grade 19 contains 3% aluminium, 8% vanadium, 6% chromium, 4% zirconium, and 4% molybdenum. Grade 20 contains 3% aluminium, 8% vanadium, 6% chromium, 4% zirconium, 4% molybdenum and 0.04% to 0.08% palladium. Grade 21 contains 15% molybdenum, 3% aluminium, 2.7% niobium, and 0.25% silicon. Grade 23 contains 6% aluminium, 4% vanadium, 0.13% oxygen. Improved ductility and fracture toughness with some reduction in strength. Grade 24 contains 6% aluminium, 4% vanadium and 0.04% to 0.08% palladium. Grade 25 contains 6% aluminium, 4% vanadium and 0.3% to 0.8% nickel and 0.04% to 0.08% palladium. Grades 26, 26H and 27 all contain 0.08 to 0.14% ruthenium. Grade 28 contains 3% aluminium, 2.5% vanadium and 0.08 to 0.14% ruthenium. Grade 29 contains 6% aluminium, 4% vanadium and 0.08 to 0.14% ruthenium. Grades 30 and 31 contain 0.3% cobalt and 0.05% palladium. Grade 32 contains 5% aluminium, 1% tin, 1% zirconium, 1% vanadium, and 0.8% molybdenum. Grades 33 and 34 contain 0.4% nickel, 0.015% palladium, 0.025% ruthenium and 0.15% chromium. Grade 35 contains 4.5% aluminium, 2% molybdenum, 1.6% vanadium, 0.5% iron, and 0.3% silicon. Grade 36 contains 45% niobium. Grade 37 contains 1.5% aluminium. Grade 38 contains 4% aluminium, 2.5% vanadium, and 1.5% iron. This grade was developed in the 1990s for use as an armor plating. The iron reduces the amount of vanadium needed as a beta stabilizer. Its mechanical properties are very similar to grade 5, but has good cold workability similar to grade 9. Titanium alloys used biomedically, while having excellent biocompatibility, T6L4V suffers from poor shear strength and poor surface wear properties in certain loading conditions. Biocompatibility, excellent, especially when direct contact with tissue or bone is required. T6L4V's poor shear strength makes it undesirable for bone screws or plates. It also has poor surface wear properties and tends to seize when in sliding contact with itself and other metals. Surface treatments such as nitriding and oxidizing can improve the surface wear properties. T6L7NB was developed as a biomedical replacement for T6L4V alloy because T6L4V contains vanadium, an element that has demonstrated cytotoxic outcomes when isolated. T6L7NB contains 6% aluminium and 7% niobium. T6L7NB is a dedicated high-strength titanium alloy with excellent biocompatibility for surgical implants. 
used for replacement hip joints, it has been in clinical use since early 1986. References External links ASTM Reference Sheet, 1, 2